All right, we're going to take a look at Video Cart 8. There's two games on it. We're just going to cover one at a time. See, there's there's two games. This is called the Magic Numbers Cart, but the first game we're going to look at is Mind Reader. Then I'll look at the Nim game on another video. But um, as you can see, Video Cart 8 was 1977, Fairchild Channel F. Here is the back of the cart. Mind Reader is kind of like a mastermind game where you have to guess the numbers and in what order. And Nim is a classic strategy game where you have to remove the last pile to win. So we'll look at that next. Okay, we're firing up the cartridge. And game number one we're going to look at first is Mind Reader. There's a few different modes. You can start with mode one, which is just two numbers. So let's do that to start. Should be a little easier to guess. So here you go. You have the two numbers. And they use 0 through 9 for digits. So we're going to go and guess 0 and 1. Hit the Submit button. Tells us neither of those is right. See, there's nothing next to it. There's neither one is right, and neither one's in the correct space. There's no 2 or 3. You know, eliminating numbers is very handy in this game, too. All right, we're up to 6 and 7. So one of those is correct, but it's in the wrong place. So the only thing we can do, let's go. Let's put 7 in a different place, and we'll drop this one back down to 5, because we know 5 was not good. Ah, so it was a 6. So we know now that 6 is here. Let's pick 8. Ah, got it already. 86. See how that works? So now we're going to reset the game. Start, start Mind Reader again. We're going to select mode 2 this time and start. Mode 2 is three numbers, so they're a little ch more challenging. All right, you see, so only one of those is correct. Now, we don't know which one yet. Um, sometimes helps to play the elimination game, so I'm going to try eliminating two. Um, all right, so zero seems like it's correct. That's why it's saying TT, transposed. So let's try just a zero. Hmm. All right, so I think the zero is right in the middle is the correct one. I'm going to go with seven and six. Still zero seems to be the correct one. Let's try five and four. All right, so I've got two right. So we have to get rid of one of these. Let's just drop the four down to... I think two was no nothing. Okay, so it was the four. You see, we went from two hits down to one hit. So I'll go back up to four here, and we'll go to three here. How about two? Cannot remember. Sometimes they duplicate a number. Ah, so two hits and zero is in there twice. Very interesting. What happens if we go four? Same deal. Hmm. Two hits. Two are exact. The zero and the four, and let's try another four. I just kind of confused, but ah, man, that's the tricky part is when you have two of the same digit. As you can see, it's hard to tell when you're guessing where one is actually kept and one is transposed. It doesn't. It doesn't always compute. Let's reset. Game one. This time I'm going to go to mode three and start. Now there's four digits on mode three. Again, the game gets harder. Now you see the 20 in the middle at the bottom? That is uh, 20 guesses. You can also set up a time, but I like to try and beat this, beat each level within 20 guesses. That's really the more challenging. Sweet. That is very helpful. Not a single one of those is in the final number. So now you can use any of those numbers, 0, 1, 2, or 3, as like an elimination. See, now we have 2 right. So I'm going to just drop these down to 3 because I know 3 is not in there. So let's see if 4 and 5 are the correct numbers. Only one of those. Still trying to eliminate. Let's see if 4 is the right one. See, the above, the, the, at the top you have 4, 5, 6, and 7. So two of those numbers are in the final answer. And it looks like Four out of four and five, only one of those. So now I'm picking just four by itself to see if that's the number. But then six and seven also has one of those as well. So it is four. Now let's try six. Four and six. 
Nope, so it is 7. So we know that 4 and 7 are in there. I'm going to put them in a different location now. Still, um, they're in the wrong positions. So let's try 4 there. Let's try 7 here. So tricky. But there you go. I've won now the four number one. Okay, we're going to return one more time to Mastermind. This time, mode four, which is actually five numbers. And it's not easy unless you somehow get lucky right at the beginning and eliminate a whole bunch of numbers. Because then you can use that throughout the whole rest of the sequence. But you see, one's transpose, one's a hit. So how do you figure out from there right so let's uh let's try all nines just see if we can find a uh I'll try all nines and and eights I'm actually looking for some way I hope I'm trying to get a zero return so I can eliminate dang so two so maybe nine let's do this all right so eights are your zero function. So now with that in mind, and there's, there's a 9 in there too, we know. Um, let's try 0 and and 1. So 1 hit. Ugh, I'm going to have to make this 8 to figure out if it was the 0 or the 1. It's the 0. Okay. So now we know there's a 0 in the right place. We know there's a 9. We know there's a 2 or a 3 from that first round. It's not the 2. Nine's in the wrong place. Let's try nine here. Go back to eight here. It's not a three. Let's try a four and a nine here. All right. So four is somewhere else. The nine has to be here, seems like. Let's try four here. That's what I was expecting. So four somewhere else, but the zero and the nine are in the right spot. There we go. Now we just have two left. Seven and six. Let's try seven and six. One of those is correct. Let's leave the six here, though, trying another spot. See, we're going back to eight as a zero count. There you go. So now we have one number left, and I don't think I've used five yet. Brilliant. I love it when it works out like that. When you have a plan and it works, you're either lucky or good. I'll let you decide. And that's Magic Numbers Mind Reader for the Fairchild Channel F, 1977.